Woo, I love a sample, and today we're going to talk about an SEO case study that's going to blow your mind and make you understand exactly the path you need to take to become the most findable business online. So everyone loves a snack, or a sample, or a bite. So I'm going to give you an SEO example from start to finish with one of my clients, Terry Langens. She is a communication expert. And she came to me with a very interesting dilemma that I'm going to walk you through right now. So here's Terry, and she is a communications expert. So let me walk you through what existed for her right as we started working together. So the first thing is I like to call it your bubble. What was in Terry's bubble? So especially for professional speakers, we tend to stay inside our bubble. We come up with unfindable titles for our keynotes. We have unfindable taglines. We create all this unfindable content. And Terry had done just that. So her website address was blah, 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 dot US. Blah, blah, like blah, 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 right? Isn't that, isn't that communication, blah, blah? Well, that was her thing. Her about us page was chief of everything or COE. Her main navigation or website was talk, see, no, read. And then the blog was spelled B-L-A-H-G, blog. What we found out that the blog was actually not even indexing because it was not B-L-O-G. Again, she's working real hard to be, become unfindable. So you have to marry creativity with findability. And you can't have one or the other. They have to both work together. So let's see how we fix this for Terry. Now, the first problem was Blah 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 is actually a song by Kesha. If you don't know who Kesha is, she's a pop star and you're not going to push her off this page. So no matter how much she tries to optimize for the word blah blah blah, she's not pushing off Kesha and Kesha owns the whole page. Then if we go to Google Images under blah blah blah, we get all kinds of crazy pictures of like talking Pac-Man and just crazy weird strange things. Then we see the, we see the, the like Dracula, like blah, 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 right? That makes sense. We got Dracula, we got Deadpool, Homer Simpson, Snoopy, Charlie Brown, like crazy stuff. So again, even if she optimized for it here, it's not gonna help her. And then if we go to video, it's more of the same. So how do we fix this problem? Well, like I got to say, we need to use the language of her peeps, right? Her people, what are they searching for? What are their pain that they're looking for Terry to help solve? Well, let's take a deep dive into her street language. So a street language is, what are people saying on the street? Not what Terry is saying, not the blah, 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 but what are people saying right now on a, in a Google search that she can show up to them? So here you'll see effective communication gets 9,900 searches a month, effective presentations, 4,680, effective marketing, 4,830, so we purchased EffectiveCommunicationNow.com. By getting that root Effective Communication in there, we make her site relevant for 9,900 searches per month. Probably a good way to start. So then we keep digging. So this is using um, a tool, any keyword research tool will give you this data. But let's take a look at other variants that we came up with. So we have Effective Communication, again, 9,900 searches, giving feedback, 480, Effective marketing, 260. Effective presentations, and of course, look at that. Gossip in the workplace. Where do you think the pain is here? Clearly, if someone types in gossip in the workplace, they need Terry's help. Now let's search a little deeper. Let's go to the next level. Now people tend to hire because there's pain, right? We call them bitch moans and complaints. They're complaining to Google. So look at these complaints. Conflict resolution, conflict resolution in the workplace, bullying at work and problem solving in the workplace. This is where the money is for Terry. This is where people are searching. They need help. And Terry is the answer to that. So here you go. We, we purchased effective communication. Now you'll see there's Terry. Now we're still using the blah, blah, but we're not making it front and center. It's not her findability. It's her quiche, right? It's her, it's her cuteness factor, if you will, which most speakers, we need to have something that's memorable, but we also have to be findable. So when you're thinking about making a site findable, remember to tap into what people want. Don't get so caught up in your own marketing rhetoric that it makes you unfindable. Remember, uniqueness is the enemy of findability. The more unique you go, the more unfindable you become. So take that back. 
check in with the keyword research tool, figure out what it is people are searching for, and guide your marketing toward that. If you love the content from our case study today, make sure to follow our channel. And if you want to have a chat with me, schedule a findability review call today. We're going to run your WooRank report, get under the hood of your website. We're going to take a look at how you rank and give you some easy pointers on how to make your site more findable right away. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you on our next video.